Hello everybody, Steven here with Cardboard Coalition. And today I figured I'd give you a quick unboxing what's in the box for some of the new stuff that's come out and it's for two different games. So we have Legendary Marvel Annihilation and then we have um, Marvel Champions Hero Pack for Nebula. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go through the Nebula one first and see what's in the pack. So it's just, they came out, I believe they actually came out the end of last week, but I got over to the shop and got them today. Unfortunately, my comic book shop didn't does not get Marvel Legendary stuff anymore. So eh, I'm gonna figure out where to get that stuff from. So all right, let's go see what Nebula's, um, the Nebula Hero Pack comes with. Sorry, my dog decides she wants to wander around right now. So we have, I'm trying not to tear it or anything. Seems a little smaller. We have the poster page. See if there's any new words. Yes, Pierler Singh, Stale War, uh, Team Up. So there's some terminology there. It tells you what comes in the base deck for her. So if you ever want to put that base deck together, let's go ahead and set that a little bit out of the way <clears throat> and uh, jump through this pack. See kind of what's in there really quick. Try to make the video really quick. Just for anybody who's wondering kind of what comes in these uh, packs or what have you, in case you're interested. I know some people out there actually are into the Marvel Champion stuff, right? <clears throat> so you have the Nebula, you have the Hero card, which is going to be Nebula on her Alter Ego, but that's the side where you would get your, uh, you would heal if needed to be heal. And then you got the Nebula deck, so we got Gamora, Nebula's ship. Uh, cutthroat ambition two of those we have elusive elusive sorry i should probably read it still looking around the room evasive maneuvering uh underlying persistence underlying oh man i really got to read to you let's go like this unyielding persistence weapons master got two of those we got wide stance we got two of those in this deck um combat ready uh, two combat readies, lethal intent. There's two, three lethal intents. So that's the Nebula deck. Now this is the attribute. It looks like she comes with justice. We have Eros, Wraith, Venom. Oh, cool is another. Should still be Agent Venom, right? But there's Venom. We have justice served, three justice served. Uh, one way or another. I got three of those. Determination, this is interesting. Huh. There's no cost for it. That's kind of interesting. Um, then you have Power Justice. These are in regular decks. Uh, Brains over Bronze. You got three of those. And then you have Heroic Intuition, which I believe is some of the other decks. All right, there's the Attribute deck. And then we have, of course, the Commons. We have Cosmos. I believe Cosmos is in one of the other sets, too. Uh, nowhere, daughter of Thanos, first aid, two first aids, and of course you have your your double um, currency stuff. Can't remember what the currency is called right now, um, but there's energy, there's genius, there's strength, and then this would be oh yeah, I forget I set the decks up different. I put these after um, the main card and stuff like that. So here's her obligation, and then you have her nemesis deck. So there's her obligation deck. Make sure it's all in the shot. Then you got the Nemesis deck, which has Gamora, which makes sense. Self-preservation, lethal weapon, old rivals, two old rivals. All right. And then if you guys have seen me go through these decks before, you'll remember this. Stop! So all these are extra cards to help build other decks. You can put them in here because you could build your own deck. They always come with starting decks, and then you can build your own deck from there. So that's why it says stop on the back. It'll tell you all the cards you need to build the starter Nebula set with her obligations, her nemesis, her um, uh, Nebula's deck, right? Her personality card, I don't, can't remember what you call it. Then you have your aspect and then your, your just general ones. And then you have these extra cards. There's usually three of each one. So we have Energy Spear, 
three of those. We have Guardians of the Galaxy for leadership. This one was aggression, sorry guys. So three of those. And then we have protection. We have defensive training, two defensive trainings. And then these are our um, common cards, right? So we have Honorary Guardian, three of those, and Daughter of Thanos is a standard basic card. It's Daughter of Thanos. She has a card in here somewhere. It's Daughter of Thanos, right? I think maybe it's over here. So that's basically what comes in the Nebula Hero Pack for Marvel Champions. So now you guys get to see kind of how I set up. This is how I set the decks up. I don't build my own decks. I'm, I'm not smart enough. Um, but I just play with the decks that they give us. But what I end up doing is I take the hero card, then I put their obligation because you take these out when you're getting ready. And then the nemesis cards, then I put the rest of the deck kind of together. And I just kind of set it all like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way for now. So we don't want to mix up licenses. Oh no, never, ever, ever. So the other one I got is this Marvel Legendary um, expansion. I'm trying to think, oh, it's just an expansion basically. I think it says there's a hundred cards, all right? Five heroes, two new master minds and a villain group. That's interesting, I'm wondering. Well, of course one of them's gonna be a Nihilus, dur dur dur, right? Um, and I don't think I read Annihilation. I don't think I read that story arc. There was a time, because I'm old enough to remember when comic books um, in the 80s and stuff, in, in the 90s, they would do, do this whole thing where they're like, oh yeah, this cool new book that's, it's pretty much after Infinity Gauntlet, this cool new book that's going to go through all this stuff with all the heroes and you want to get, 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 get everything. And then you get, 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 get everything when you're young, it costs lots of money. And uh, once you get everything, then you find out, oh, Spider-Man really had nothing to do with it. They just, on page 22, or however you want to look at the last page, Spider-Man goes, oh, no, look, it's an Nihilus. Dun, dun, dun. And then it's a tie-in, right? So long story to long story. I, I didn't read tie-ins for a while. And after my stint in the core, when I came back and started collecting again, I stayed away from the... Um, blockbuster story there's a name for it it's not coming to my head right now the overarching stories and um, i don't think i read the annihilation one all right but i know enough i know it's annihilus right so let's see this is going to be the extra rule sheet that it gives you looks like fantastic four is working in on this so and then it gives you some of the terms that you might or might not have seen before so we have um focus man and woman out of time Momentum, and I saw Kang there. I'm assuming Kang's going to be in here or something. Oh, and there's Conqueror on the backside. Galactus consumes the Earth. Your heroes, um, heroes you have. So there's going to be a differentiation between those when using this. Um, choosing multiple villain decks. Um, join the Marvel Legendary Community. It just talks about, and this just gives you what's in the deck, right? Or what's in this set. So with champions, that was a deck, right? That was a deck of cards for one of the heroes. They also do um, scenario packs, which is a scenario to play through. So with legendary, what you end up getting, for the most part, some ch are, change a little bit and sometimes they don't have a villain group or what have you. But usually what happens is you have a set of heroes and you have a set of masterminds and a couple villains. Sometimes you have an extra bystander card um, and things like that. But with the Marvel Legendary stuff, you get heroes and the villains kind of together in some schemes. With the champion stuff, you get a pack for heroes, you get a pack for villains, which tends to be the scenario. So let's see what we got here. So we have a Mastermind Tactic King. Oh, nice. So Kang is one of the masterminds, and of course, Annihilus. There's all Annihilus' stuff. Is that his name? I'm pretty sure that's his name. Yeah, Annihilus. All right, there's the scheme cards that I was telling you guys about. So here you go. There's one mastermind. I'm sure the rest of his cards are somewhere in here. I used to freak out when I first started getting these from Upper Deck and go through all the cards, and I realized that they're actually all there. So you get Kang and Annihilus. Then you have... Some schemes, a nice set of four schemes. Uh, what is this one? Here's your villain set, Queen of Annihilation. Uh, villain, 
So yeah, they're going to be split up. I could see what's going on here. They do this sometimes. So there's Queen of Annihilation. Here is Annihilation Wave. These are some more heroes. Um, Annihilation Wave. Yeah, see, there's there's the King Mastermind cards. So you put those there. Uh, villain. Timelines of Kang. All right, cool. So here's some Kang stuff. I bet you Kang uses these villains with him. Um, and if you play champions, you've probably played the Kang um, hero, the Kang scenario. I can't remember what that one's called. I do have it. I just can't remember. Um, here's more of the Annihilation Wave. Uh, let's see. Annihilation Wave goes here. What is this we got here? We have Heralds of Galactus. Heralds of Galactus. I don't know exactly. Heralds of the Galactus. Heralds of the Galactus. Oh, is this a team? What? This is a team? I think this might be a team, guys, because it has the thing up there. These are different cards. Well, let's see. Heralds of Galactus. Let's see if that's one of the five. There's supposed to be five hero sets in here. We have the Super Scrolls. Super Scrolls. There's the Super Scroll. This is the main card that you get. I mean, you have to get it out of the deck, but it's the most powerful. So there's those. Here's some more Heralds of Galactus cards. This should be a little interesting. Let's go ahead and split these up. There's supposed to be five. I'm assuming the rest is going to be in here. Like I said, I, I didn't read Annihilation. Uh, and it might be because I'm not a huge cosmic Marvel fan. Um, but I'm also a collector. So now when Marvel stuff comes out in these games that I play, I want to get all the Marvel stuff. So here's two of them that are, are galactic stuff, right? So you might be like, Steven, you're lying. You do like galactic stuff. But I think I like more the, the dark world. So I'm not a huge Doctor Strange fan, but like Ghost Rider and stuff like that. All right. Who is this? Psylord. I have no idea who Psylord is. There's Psylord. Um, Super Scroll. I know who Super Scroll is. I'm not. Duh. Super Scroll. These are all Super Scroll. Um, is Psylord, um, so this is where I'm really bad, Fantastic Four fans, um, Reed Richard and Sue Richard's um, boy, and I can't think of his name right now. I'm assuming maybe he's Psylord because he has that up there. I thought he always went by like his name. Those are all his cards. And there's their daughter. Let's put the Psylord cards down there. Um, is it Victoria? Yeah, I'm bad. I'm not a Fantastic Four fan. I'm not going to lie. I do like the Fantastic Four scenario packer. It's not called scenario pack, but the expansion they did with Fantastic Four, I thought that was quite fun. It has Silver Surfer in it, but who do we got here? Brainstorm. So her name's Brainstorm, I'm assuming. Brainstorm. Uh, Brainstorm. There's her main card. So those are our five heroes, it looks like. So here's some more Psylord. Um, Fantastic Four United. Interesting. I don't know what that's going to be. Here's some more Brainstorm stuff. Oh, there's another Brainstorm. Yeah, see, I don't know why they do the decks like this sometimes where it's all divided up. For people that are new to this, you look at it and you're like, wait, am I missing stuff? But eh, it is what it is. Um, Fantastic Four United. It looks like Fantastic Four United is a set too, which is kind of cool. It looks like you're going to be the Fantastic Four. So you got your, your five and your five. There's going to be a three, which I'm assuming is um, Sue Storm. See, I know Richard and Sue, and there's Richard. I know Richard and Sue. I just don't remember their kids' names. So it looks like it's Fantastic Four United. Brainstorm, which is their daughter. Um, that's not her. That's not going to be her big money card. Where's her big money card? Oh, there it is. So Brainstorm. So Fantastic Four. There are two kids, Brainstorm and Psylord. I know somebody watching is going to be like, oh, their name is this and this, and I just can't remember. So I guess I can show you really quick. What you get with the hero deck is you – these get mixed up. You take the five heroes, you shuffle them up, and you fight the bad guys. So when I go through, and I'm going to go through and play this, and I'm kind of excited. I just noticed that glare is really bad. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm kind of excited because I did like the Fantastic Four one. I'm going to take these five heroes and put, pit them against both the villains. That's how I'll play through all this. I, I usually play as a two-player game, not a one-player. But um, So what normally happens with the deck is you would take these five and put them together. And there's some high cards and some low cards. So this is always the highest, the most damage card. I always call it the main card. 
then usually have five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five of one, and then five of another, one, two, three, four, five of another, and then you have, there's three of these, and these 10 most powerful card, next most powerful, and then these kind of mix up. So that's kind of how it goes. I usually set them like that. So let's see, once again, the heroes are um, Fantastic Four United, um, Brainstorm, is that what her name is? See, I really don't know. Every time I've read something with a minute, they tend to be really young. Um, Brainstorm and Psylord. Then we have Super Scroll, which I believe is one of their enemies, but maybe they fight together sometimes. So there's a whole bunch of Super Scroll stuff. Um, there's the main card. Here's some more of those five cards, and there's those three. So Super Scroll, and then the Heralds of Galactus, which is kind of fun. You bring in Silver Surfer, but you have um, I'm blanking right now. Is this this isn't? Um, God, I can't remember his name now. I'm looking at it. Uh, Come on, you can come to me. You can do it. No, I guess maybe it can't. Well, I know Silver Surfer. Like I said, I'm not big into the cosmic stuff, but I do enjoy playing this game, and I hope this will actually be really fun too. So with this pack, you get two Masterminds. Um, it looks like two, three villain groups. No, yeah, three villain groups. Um, then you get Annihilus, Kang, and then some Schemes. The thing is, usually these are, there's like eight of them. One, two, three, four, five. That's interesting. I'll have to look into the, the thing on there. I think there's five of these. One, two, three. Oh no, the Annihilation Wave. These are all Annihilation Wave. I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, so you get the two heroes. Sorry, the two villains. So, really quick, you get Fantastic Four. You get their, their two kids. Brainstorm, Psylord, newer names I'm thinking for them. Um, you get Super Scroll, you get the Heralds of Glass, Galactus, and they go up against Annihilus, Kang, um, with Annihilus would be Annihilation Wave, with Kang it would be, um, I can't, I'm just blind, I can't see. Uh, <laughs> timelines of Kang, that, which always makes sense, and then you have four schemes. I'm sure two go to each one. So with this, you can almost play. You're just missing some of the basic cards. You're missing bystanders. You're missing wounds. You're missing um, the agent cards and your basic starting deck of cards. And wounds kind of go into that and all the other stuff. So this is what you get with the Annihilation Legendary, Marvel Legendary Annihilation expansion. I hope you guys enjoyed my quick run through of these two things. I just realized everything's really off to the side of the camera, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody.